Larry Johnston is a man who believes these allegations are true and who says so in his book called The Edge of Evil. He believes these satanic crimes can directly be linked to the teachings in the Satanic Bible, which was written by the founder and high priest of the Church of Satan in America, Anton LaVey. And with us to debate, Mr. Johnson, is Anton LaVey's daughter, Satanist Zena LaVey. And she says that these Satan crimes have nothing to do with the Church of Satan uh, or with any of the killings or the molestations that have been taking place that uh, they're not committed by real Satanists. And uh, both of you, welcome to the show. Yes. Obviously, uh, <laughs> we're at kind of an impasse of ideas here. Uh, in reading this, in reading the intro a minute ago, uh, why the 13th century for quote, Satanism to start. Why was that century significant? I, to tell you the truth, I really don't feel that the century it begins has any relevance in, in why we're here today. Okay. And I think it's an important, um, I think the most important issue to bring up is that the Church of Satan and Satanists are beginning their own investigation on people like Jerry Johnston who say that they're investigating Satan's underground. There is, in fact, no such thing as Satan's underground, and um, I think it's very important to state that thing, books like these are um, only published by Christian outlets. You know, I showed this to a friend of mine um, who is a <laughs> who is a, a well-known literary agent, and he threw it back at me. Said this couldn't be taken seriously in any real publishing company. Jerry, and the, let's but let you just answer. Wait a second, because I also <clears throat> saw him at uh, last Sunday at the Amy Semple McPherson Church giving one of his lectures. Now, what I'd like to know is if, you know, he claims this is an unbiased look at Satanism. Here it says authoritative, unbiased. Then why, um, why don't you come on the show question. saying that you're a minister? Well, I think the way to answer is, first <laughs> off, that we can no longer deny the phenomenon that teenagers are the prime recruitment category for Satanism. Let me just pause, Dina, and remind you what your father told the Washington Post. Let's give credit where credit's due. The satanic rock lyrics, the satanic movies, and even the satanic murders all grew from the Church of Satan. Let's give me a little credit for having moved society up or down, but for at least having moved it. And the problem well, so is... Well, let's, just like, let's, br let's bring the audience up to date for just a second. Jerry, you've written this book, and, and essentially you've gone across the country researching Satanism with teenagers. Right. Is that correct? Right. They yes. just need we to know. We have a New York publisher right now that, wants, that is negotiating with us on the mass market buy at the edge oh, of evil. So I don't think we're talking about literary trash. Are you a minister? Absolutely. I'm a Christian. I believe that there's a spiritual aspect is, of it. Let me just ask you, let, let's take this one step at a time. Your minister, is there, are you affiliated with a denomination at all? I'm f affiliated with the Southern Baptist denomination. I but I have the opportunity, Zena, if you'll let me finish. Okay. I have the opportunity because as a 16-year-old kid, I was a druggie and suicidal and my life got turned around, I developed a 30-minute address called Life Exposé that we've given on about 2,500 public school campuses, which is not a sermon. It is me sharing with kids because I feel like I've been where a lot of these kids are. And we have networked with a lot of crisis groups. So because we ex exert some protocol, uh, people like this, you know, want to jump to conclusions right, that no, wait, were fanatics. Let, okay, now let's wait. But so let's give you some time here. Christian let's give you propaganda. Okay, now what? Yeah. What? A, uh, I understand Satanism is more of a lifestyle. Right. Is that what you're advocating? Okay, right, fill right. us in a little bit so the audience can right. and we can understand it. More. Okay, I mean, what we've always represented is, uh, you know, Satan we take in the semantic sense as meaning the opposite or the opposed or the one to actually question people like Jerry Johnston rather than he questioning us. We are the ones who you know, came out of fun the fundamental religions and said, why? why? Why is there all this repression? You know, I think the problem with teenagers is they come from repressed families that, you know, don't, there's a lack of communication. But back to your it's religion, not a, I don't think anybody would ever begrudge your uh, right to have, uh, all, everybody to have their own religion. Right. Well, but I also, think that there may be those who see a very negative connotation in Satanism just because, just of, because it's, of the word. Of the word. And, ma and maybe we are misunderstanding what it is your religion stands for. Does it stand for sacrificing people? Of course not, no. It, but the it problem states, we have well, here... Well, no, wait a minute. Yeah. See, he claims to be an expert on Satanism, but he's not. Zena, All he let, has is Zena, this let's Christian go back propaganda. to the you know, facts.
one of the things that we report on news uh, seemingly week in, week out. It has to do with heavy metal, whether there is a message there uh, in Satan worship is, right. is there? Right. Well, see, the way the Church of Satan feels about heavy metal is that there is absolutely nothing satanic about it. We feel that heavy metal is about as satanic as Fruit Loops or wood paneling. I mean, we teach our children to appreciate classical music. You know, if your kid came home with the satanic Bible in one hand and, um, you know, Brahms lullaby in the other, what would you say? Would you, would you say, this is bad, this is not good, it's satanic, you know? Or if you started listening to Wagner, yeah. Wagner was always considered well, satanic. really the issue is not heavy metal music. These are just executives that are moving albums. The issue is, do parents want their teenager to absorb a lifestyle that says uh, death to the weakling, um, only the strong reign, the satanic Bible, which I happen to bring with me today, which talks about naked altar, uh, a lady naked as an altar. I mean, What's we're not talking about... What's wrong with being naked? What's wrong with being naked? Absolutely I mean, nothing. But right. when we're talking about See, young you're people... from a Christian standpoint get into these, of... It, keep in mind, their holidays are distinctively <laughs> their sexual the or blood rituals. Yeah, speaking of the holidays, and, he does not, for all of the research he does in his book, supposed research, he gets all the holidays wrong. He says that how Halloween is on October 29th and November 1st. Now, how many of us know that it's on the 31st? You don't have to be a Satanist well, to know I, that. Yeah, let's let's do remember how if we is. could. But there, but how do you take a book with, like this seriously? The, That's what I'm saying. Okay, the but every page has a typo on it. I mean, I really scoured oh, that book. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, no, I'm the, serious. The fact What's of the, the matter danger? is... What's the danger to children? What's the benefit of Satanism, as you see it, to teenagers? And what's the danger? Let's have okay, you first. Okay, the benefit of Satanism to me is an alternative to either mass consciousness, to the fundamental religions that say, look at the seven deadly sins. What are they? I mean, th these are all things that motivate people. These are all things that, you know, that promote progress and evolution. What is wrong with these the things? The danger it's is these people prey on teenagers who are lacking no, something. No, no, a lack, no, no, let no. me finish. A lack of belonging. They promise kids drugs, sex, and power. Oh, now, the religious public Satanists would not. But the, they would say they would there not. There are only religious But the self styled Satanists. groups that are the popular ones that absorb in every community self, in a covert manner. Look at kids. Self and as Sean Sellers on death row said, the center not, thing to all right. of these atrocities with regard to teenagers is this book right here. Undeniable. Okay, now, Sean, Undeniable. Now, this is what is this, this Bible based? Well, Your father, all, wrote, your father this wrote this book. Bible. Yeah, first of all, I want to say that Sean Sellers, being on death row, of course, is going to say anything he can. Oh, Sean yeah. He and everyone else is unhinged. Yeah. All these people are crazy. Sean Come on. Yeah. They're not crazy. They're not unhinged. They were kids. Sean Sellers was mm -hmm. a very brilliant kid at Putnam City North High in Oklahoma City. Yeah, all but at the age of like 17, Midwest preferred to call himself Ezra and read this Bible avidly, drank vows of blood to school, uh, carried them, drank them in school, and then killed his mother and father. You know, when you and, kill someone... And when you look back was, okay. and see the common denominator link these kids all have the this book, Central have Focus. Done. Listen, now, she may not be violent. I'm done. not saying she is, but Wait. I'm saying there's some kids that are the, taking this literally. Mm -hmm. The research going too I've far. done on the Sean Sellers case, in the very beginning, when that was first, you know, when it was first brought to the public eye, is that Sean Sellers had a drug problem, period. Satanism had nothing to do with it. And then oh, immediately, come on. Zena, yes, that is a denial no, of the facts. No, he was on drugs. Immediately, he jumped on the satanic man... bandwagon to justify what he did. Oh, come and on. He, no, that's true. It's true. What do you he teach it? teenagers in the satanic the church? We teach teenagers, first of all, to be proud of what they are, that each of them is an individual. We teach them, you know, literature. I mean, we, we have them reading Jack London. We don't have them, you know, reading things that you... Poems, you. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> the, the fact of the matter oh, is... All right, we've got... We, have an apple. <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is we've got to educate parents to occultic dabbler warning signs. And the oh, educational boy. community you must know, be alerted to this trend. If these because kids if really we don't, read the Satanic if we don't, Bible... And if we're they, going to see more atrocities, like in Oklahoma you know, City, like all over. Yeah, and now Orange County is talking Midwest, about kids the number of animals that are being... Uh, and that's been disproven. You know, okay. you really, for all the research you think you've done in that book, you really don't know Zena, much. Zena, you are and the also, only you're one... you're a really good con man, I must say. <laughs> that, because okay, good. The, Let because me just, at, the, uh, at this church can we, I saw Can we at, just do this? You know, can we do this? literally can, passing around the dish. Can we, can we do this? He makes a lot of money off these things. Oh, I'm sure. How much has your father made off this book while we're talking about making money? Zena, let me ask you something. Do you all pass Look, my father doesn't ask for generous donations. And I quote, this is what he was 
was saying to everybody in this right. packed Ch church. Can we do please this? Please give me generous donations. No, they, I do you yeah. take an offering Come at your on. church? No. You don't take, you take no, no money? There's you one mem we really aren't. That's why we are not a physical church. You, and I might add, we are, we, he says that we... Zena, guys, we're down to 15. Let me say this. My no, no, I, I just want to get um, in one thing about the tax quickly, exemption. Quickly, quickly. Tax quickly. exemption. He is, you know, he claims tax-free status because he's a church and we don't. I'm okay. not a church. That again Thanks is Thanks for being on the show statement. today. Jerry Johnson and Jeannie LaVey. Uh, Zena. Zena, I'm Zena sorry. Zena LaVey. Zena LaVey. is the co-author of a new book called The Satanic which, and Jerry Johnson's book is called The Edge of Evil. We'll be right back after this. My beloved Tay Tay is apparently a satanic clone. Now you're seeing here a picture of Taylor Swift compared to Zena Le Fay or Zena Shrek, who is a satanist. Okay. Well, her oh, name is totally Zena Shrek in real life, and Shrek and Swift are uh, both best represented by the serpent emoji because she was Wait, really. What? So basically, the why are they best part represented of... by the serpent well, emoji? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta like, catch you up mean? to pop culture. So Zena, Zena Shrek, whatever her name was, mm -hmm. uh, was part of the Church of Satan, and she had like these serpents. Okay, so okay. she is. That's like a good representation of her. Taylor Swift, once all that stuff started coming out about her being kind of like a low-key asshole, mm -hmm. people started putting oh, snakes yeah, yeah. everywhere. Okay. okay, now we're all caught up to speed. Even just like something as stupid like that she actually secretly likes dogs despite all her like Snapchats of cats. You know what I mean? Like it's not something that's so Does simple she really as that. Dogs? I don't know. Yeah. Um, she just really likes cats. But whatever, do you know what I mean? Like, that's a lot more tangible and, like, you could, like, have a, a shoddy argument to prove yeah. that. But to prove that somebody is, like, a clone of Satan is a little more difficult and yeah. a little more cuckoo. Again, I think... So, um, several days ago, whenever this came out, yep. the internet was was really kind of just flipping out over this. Okay. Because uh, apparently, Taylor Swift may have been in a cult, or at least like one of very high up daughter of a leader of a cult. buy a beautiful Cessna Citation Jet, cash. And since there's so much jealousy in this room tonight that I can feel over this. A few weeks later, I bought another one worth three times what that one was, cash. Act happy over my blessing, folks. Because they preach something called the prosperity gospel, which argues that wealth is a sign of God's favor and donations will result in wealth coming back to you. Th that idea sometimes takes the form of seed faith, the notion that donations are seeds that you will one day get to harvest. Uh, let me show you that in action. The size of your seed will determine the size of your harvest. I don't understand why, but there's something happens at a level where people step into faith and give $1,000 that don't happen at other levels. You're going to have a breakthrough through this 200 and $73 seed. All you've got is a thousand dollars. Listen, that's not enough money anyway to buy the house. You're trying to get in the apartment. You're trying to buy the house. That's not enough money anyway. You get to that phone and you put that seed in the ground and watch God work it out. And speaking of nuts, I have a nut here, okay? And this is a bolt, okay? So listen, this is what a normal person does, all right? See, I got the bolt right here, represent the male, right? We got the nut right here, represent the female, all right? This is what normal people do, okay? This is what, now let me show you what insanity says to do. It doesn't work, stupid, huh? Bunch of filthy sodomites and queers. One Florida gun manufacturer has designed an assault rifle with, guess what, Christian symbols on it.
we have Psalm 144.1, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Well, you okay. Get your head up there farther. All right, now, like, okay, show us where you hit. Can you see where you hit? Right there. Woohoo! Now look where you hit. You get, you get closer to the, to the green. What you want to do is you want to aim right for there, okay? Okay, let's do it again.